One of the first major events that took place in the Khilafah of Abu Bakr after he established his Khilafah and those Sahaba who were around him, now Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, there is something that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi before he passed away, by two days, there was an army of the Muslims that was going out to the north of the Arabian Peninsula where the Romans were leading there or had control of areas in the northern Arabian Peninsula. But the ones who were living there were the Arabs, not the Romans or any non-Arabs. It was Christian Arabs who were living there. The Caesars of the Rome had appointed certain people who were leading for these areas. So they were inside the Arabian Peninsula. The army was going out. When the news came of the heaviness of the sickness of the Prophet ﷺ, they stopped. And Usama ibn Zayd radiallahu anhu, he came back to Medina. And we mentioned that he went in and he visited the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was that weak, he wasn't able to speak, he couldn't even speak. So he would raise his hands and he would put his hands on Usama. And Usama radiallahu anhu, he says, I knew that he was making dua for me. And imagine what a position, what a virtue, what a status, for this young Sahabi, who was either 18 or 20 years old. And the Prophet ﷺ had appointed him as the leader of an army that he was sending north. During the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ, there was two encounters that took place with the Romans in the northern areas of the Arabian Peninsula. The first of the two was a great battle that took place, which is known as the Battle of Mu'ta. The second battle that took place, the Prophet ﷺ was involved in it, or he was the leader of the army, which is the great battle of Tabuk. And there was no confrontation, no confrontation took place. And the Prophet ﷺ, he exited or he went out with the largest army that had ever been from the Muslims. Now the third encounter, Nabi ﷺ, before he passed away, he had assigned Usama to the army who was going to the Arabian Peninsula and before he passed away the army had came back. Abu Bakr عنه, when he attained Khilafah the first thing that Abu Bakr عنه, he did is that he called upon Usama and he called upon the Sahaba and he said that anyone who was in the army of Usama to get ready to leave and to go where the Prophet وسلم, had ordered them to go. When the Prophet Sallallahu assigned Usama, even when the Prophet Sallallahu assigned Usama, some of the Sahaba, they did it, or they weren't 100% in agreement with the Prophet Sallallahu Because in the army of Usama, there was some of the oldest companions. From amongst them was Abu Bakr himself and Umar. They were in the army of Usama. So some of the Ansar, they came to Umar and they came to the Sahaba to talk to the Prophet ﷺ about this issue. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said, he said that they had spoken about the leadership of his father Zayd. And his father Zayd was rightfully given the position of leader. And Usama radiallahu anhu is also rightfully given the position of leadership in the army. So whoever wants to follow the orders of the Prophet ﷺ, he follows the orders of the Prophet ﷺ and he didn't change. He kept Usama as the leader. So now the Khilafah is in the hands of Abu Bakr. Now the Sahaba, they came to Abu Bakr again. And they said, oh Abu Bakr, if you were to appoint someone older, because some of the Sahaba, some of the Ansar, are complaining that he's too young. And one of the ones who came to Abu Bakr was Umar radiallahu anhu. The two things that took place was, first, they didn't want the army to even leave. They wanted the army to remain in Medina. And the second was that they didn't want Usama. So when this was brought up to Abu Bakr by Umar radiallahu anhuma, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he took the bead of Umar. And he says, oh Umar, you're going to change an order of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was happy and gave 
the leadership to Usama bin Zayd radiallahu anhu, his great Sahabi. Do you want me to change something that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had established and something that the Prophet sallallahu had ordered? And then he gave a khutbah. And he gave a famous khutbah in front of the Sahaba. He glorified Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said, he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept from the actions except that which is sincere for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So put the intention for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the actions that you are doing. For verily you are being sincere for the time in which you are needed the most. In which the time for the time of your poverty and the time of your need. Take heed, O the servants of Allah, for those who have passed away before you. Contemplate, think about those who were before you. Where were they yesterday and where are they today? Where are those who glorified themselves and gave power to themselves? Where are they today? And the time has come around upon them. And that which happened before will happen again and it is time that repeats itself. So Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, when he made this decision, a lot of the Arabian tribes around Mecca and Medina in the Arabian Peninsula had committed apostasy, had left Islam. And there was fear that they were going to attack Medina. And to send out the army that was in Medina, to send it outside of Medina, was something that some of the Sahaba couldn't understand. And how are you going to send out this army? when we might be in danger ourselves of being attacked from these people inside the Arabian Peninsula, not from the outside. And when the Prophet Sallallahu he passed away, a lot of them returned back to their old habits and returned back to their old beliefs that they will come and they will attack Medina. But Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he was persistent and he said that whoever was in the army of Usama will leave and will get ready to leave and Usama is going to be the person who is in charge of this army. And the army of Usama left Medina and went towards where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had ordered them before he passed away, he ordered them to go. Abu Bakr, he is the Khalifa, he gave the order, Sami'na wa ata'na. We listen, we obey, we hear and we go forward. So Usama radiallahu anhu stayed in his position as the leader of the army. And as he is leaving, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he did a sunnah that was established by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That when someone was leaving Medina, going somewhere, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he would walk by them while they arrived. And he would advise them. And he would speak to them. So as he is going, and he's walking with him, and Usama is riding on his horse. And Abdurrahman bin Auf is leading the horse of Abu Bakr, but Abu Bakr is walking. Usama, he looks at the Khalifa, and he says, Ya Khalifa ta Rasulillah. He says, by Allah, you either ride, or I'm coming down off my horse. He says, by Allah, you will not get down, and by Allah, I will not ride my horse. It's an order. Then he says something beautiful, he says, And I am in need of dirtying my feet for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for an hour. I am more in need of it than you, the one who is riding. You are leading an army, I am leading an ummah. I am more in need of it to dirty my feet for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the Khalifa radiallahu anhu, look at the humbleness of the Khalifa. And then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he says to Usama, if you are to see and capable of doing it, then help or let allow Umar radiallahu anhu to help you, to advise you, to be with you. If you see it fit, you are the leader of the army, if you see it fit, to allow Umar to help you with leading the army. To help you with leading the army, and he allowed it, Usama radiallahu anhu, he allowed it. And then Abu Bakr, he went towards the army as the Prophet وسلم, used to go to the army and he advised them with 10 things. He said, memorize them and take them from me. Do not cheat one another and do not take anything that is unlawful from the ghanima. Anywhere that you go from, do not take anything 
unlawfully. For anything that you take, as the Prophet ﷺ has mentioned, anything that you take unlawfully from the ghanima, from the beauty of war, it will come on a day of judgment as fire on you. Do not to attack the army or the people that you are going to fight, to attack them without them knowing. And do not, if someone has passed away, do not dissolve the bodies of the dead. If there's a tree with fruits on it, do not cut it down. Do not slaughter any animals of cattle except for the purpose of eating. And you are going to come across people who have secluded themselves in their places of worship, then leave them. Do not go near them. Only time you attack is if they attack the army. If they stay in their place of worship, then leave them. And you will come across a people who have cooked in their plates food that is not halal. So if you eat anything from it, or they'll bring you food, if you eat anything from it, then say Bismillah. He said, you'll come across a people who have shaved the middle of their head and have left the rest of the hair on their head. If you come across them, then fight them. For they are people who are not trustworthy. They are people who will attack you. Go forward by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He advised the army as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had advised the people. Then Usama, he looked at Usama and he told him, to do what the Prophet sallallahu had ordered him to do. Before the Prophet sallallahu he died, he ordered Usama to go a certain way and to reach a certain point and to not go beyond it. So Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said to Usama, do exactly the same as the Prophet sallallahu had ordered you. And the whole journey of going and coming back and attaining the beauty of war and that which took place in the army or the army of Usama all together was 40 days. And all of the fear that was in the hearts of some of the Sahaba and that which they feared to happen, the army of Usama went and came back so quickly and so easily and they had attained many beauty of war. And he knew that if the Prophet ﷺ had sent them, then you can't go against the order of the Prophet ﷺ. And Usama radiallahu anhu, he did exactly what he was ordered by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa This was one of the first major events that took place in the history or in the khilaf of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu.